Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Susie and I'm really glad that you're joining me here today. So this week's been pretty busy and I really haven't had a chance to do any upcycles, but over the last three weeks, I have been shopping quite a bit and now that I can move around more and I wanna show you guys what I have thrifted. If you're new to my channel, I have a resale booth where I sell the items that I have thrifted and found and upcycled. Um, I've got a pretty good haul here. It took me two or three weeks to get this. However, pickings have been slim as of late, so it's hard to find much. I went to a couple of estate sales today and thrift stores over the last couple weeks, so let's jump right in and I'll show you guys what I've got. Okay, I don't know where to start. All right, I'll just start with this morning. Um, I went to an estate sale. If you're in Alabama, you may have heard of Country Boy Eddie. Um, he used to be kind of a local celebrity here. He was on a morning show. Um, he lived about three or four miles from me here. So um, he passed away recently and I went to the third day of his estate sale this morning. Um, so I got some good prices. However, there wasn't a lot left. They had moved everything down to the basement and it was really a lot of junk. I'm not sure what all started out, but I got a few things. So I got um, this wooden book in duck, I think it is. And I wish I had my, anyway, it's wooden and I kind of like the paint job on it. So I'll probably leave it as is and sell it for, you know, seven, $8, just like it is. I paid $17 for everything that I got at Country Boy Eddie's estate sale. I also got this silver, no, this is going to be pewter really nice pewter heavy uh, fat candlestick uh, i like these they're great for candlesticks but i also like to make uh, risers out of them uh, put a basket on them something like that and uh, this one will be perfect for that so i got those two items out like i said i paid 17 dollars for everything that i got at country boy eddie's i also got a brass small candlestick with a pillar candle on it, and it is solid brass made in India. It was really nice. It needs cleaned up a lot. What else? Oh. I got these uh, two decor balls. These are really nice painted up, and they have lots of detail on them. This one has never even been open, but I like to get these spears when I can at a good price. And, oh, I also there got this um, tarnished silver butter dish. It was still in its wrapper. I just unwrapped it. Um, it's really got some nice tarnish on it. I think it's very pretty and very ornate. So I got all of that for $17, which is not a bad price. Um, a couple weeks ago, I went to a community yard sale uh, with Mom and Allison, and there I got this um, vintage fortify. Um, I thought it was cute. It was only two dollars, and I can paint it up and, and fix it up really pretty. So I picked that up at that yard sale. Also at that yard sale, what else did I get there? Hmm. Oh, yeah, this right. Yeah, at that same yard sale, I got this. I haven't touched it. It's been several weeks ago. It was $2 and it's got a couple of uh, terracotta pots, some real looking fake greenery and um, I really like the little basket that it's in. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I kinda like it as is, but these pots really need some refreshing. But like I said, for $2, I definitely picked that up. Um, this was, um, at where the yard sale was, was also at a, um, a flea market. And I went inside the flea market while I was there. I did pay 
$7 for this rooster, but he's in perfect shape. He's, uh, I guess, a little cookie jar, but he hasn't made it to the booth yet. I was hanging on to him, so I thought that I would show you guys. Do you think that I should paint him, or do you think that I should leave him as is? I also got another rooster, and he's definitely going to need a paint job. He was originally, a long time ago, $3 at the Family Dollar. I think I paid... Um, he don't have a tag on him. Where did I get him? It must have been a yard sale. I think I paid 2 or $3 for him as well. But um, he's got no chips or anything, but I think he's definitely going to need a paint job and some white wax, uh, maybe white or green. What do you guys think? Um, I got a couple of books. This one was $1.99. What I liked about this one is it is a uh, encyclopedia of decorating and home improvement. And it's got lots of pictures, but you can tell that it, it was uh, mid-century, which is really cool because mid-century, you know, is coming back now. Look at that. So I just thought this was a neat book. What was the date on this? Let's see. Let's see. Anyway, it's obviously from the 60s or 70s. And I got an old hymn book. Um, love using hymn book pages. I've got one I've already started on, and this one's in about as rough a shape as that one. But hymn book pages are great for decoupaging, and I always pick them up when I find them. Um, this came from a thrift store. Last weekend in Birmingham, I can't remember if it was America's Thrift or Goodwill. I think it was Goodwill, actually. Yeah, it was absolutely Goodwill. And I paid $5.99 for this candlestick. It's super heavy. Um, it's got a distressed kind of paint job on it, but I feel like I can do a better job than that. So I picked it up because it's a good size, tall candlestick, and those always sell really well. Um, I got this for $3.99. It's got some really nice uh, greenery in it. I mean, this is some high-end greenery with some lavender. All I gotta do is just paint this little wooden box up and maybe put a transfer on it. And I got that for $3.99. Uh, I really like it. I'm gonna leave the greenery in it just like it is. This is kind of what I'm talking about with that. See how... See how nice that looks once I paint this on top of that candlestick, sits right on there, easy glued. Or, while we're talking about that, um, I also found a, a cloche base here. I got, uh, it's got its wooden base and it's a uh, cloche for $4.99. And look at that, that's a perfect fit on there too. Um, paint this base up or stain it a darker color. And those always sell good for me too. Better than just a cloche sitting on the ground. If you rise them up, they sell better. Um, let's see. Okay, the rest of this stuff is a thrift store, I think. Uh, I got this uh, little picnic wine basket for $1.99. I thought a little um, drop cloth with a stamp on it would be super cute on this and stain it up a little bit darker um, for $1.99. I'm running out of milk glass in the booth, so I got both of these. I actually had one just like this that just sold last week, and these, uh, the single ones, always sell. I'll stick a, a nice flower in there and sell it with the flower, but I got those for $1.99 each. Um, if y'all don't care, go ahead and hit like on this video. It helps um, YouTube put my videos out there. And in the past, my thrift haul videos have just not done as well. I like doing them um, because I've got all this stuff and I love to show you guys this stuff. And um, also, it's an easier week for me as far as uh, making a video because when I do the upcycles, it takes me days and days and nights and nights. And of course, um, if you don't know, I also have a full-time job 
as an insurance agent and I'm going to physical therapy three days a week for my legs. So I stay pretty busy all the time. Um, so it was nice to be able to do a thrift haul video this week, but if y'all don't care, comment, just tell me, you know, do you think I got good deals on this stuff? And what would you have left in the store? Maybe what would you have picked up? Um, let's see. I always pick up these when they're a good price. This one was 99 cents. Um, it's already got the, um, the jute twine on the top. I'll probably leave that as is and paint it. There's an R on it, but I'll probably paint it and put a transfer on it or maybe a paint inlay. I'm also out of all blue jars. Um, I found this one. It's not an old one. It's a new one, but it is blue and it was only $2.99. So I went ahead and picked it up. I'm having a hard time finding the blue, uh, canning jars lately. Um, oh, I got this for $1.99 at the thrift store today. And I had seen Sonnet had found several of these on Sonnet's Garden Blooms and painted them with a bright, vibrant color and then distressed them back and they were so beautiful. So that's definitely what I plan on doing with this one. Um, I got this for a dollar ninety nine. It's a plated silver tray. Um, I might take the top off or let's see. You could also do something like this and make a really nice like cake stand or something. This is loose. I'm definitely going to have to work on it. Um, so I went ahead and picked that up. It was only $1.99. I can paint that too. While I've got this in my hand, uh, there's a store not too far from here that's kind of like an Amazon returns. It's kind of like a Benz, but it's not thrifted. It's not donated stuff. It's stuff like new in the box. And today was their $5 day, and these were still in their plastic. One, two, three, four, six of these uh, braided basket charger trays. And um, I went ahead and picked them up. Uh, those were really, they're really, really cute to make like a, um, a wall hanging art with them. There's just all kinds of things that I can do with these. So for $5 for six of them, that's less than a dollar piece. I got those. Also, um, I picked up a couple of, um, what are these called? Come on, brain. It was just in my head. Clipboards. Picked up a couple of clipboards for 99 cents each. I saw um, <laughs> Teresa of Our Green Acres uh, did something on a clipboard. It looks so pretty, and I'm going to do that, paint it up and put something on it, probably a stamp or a transfer. These frames were $1.99. This one's uh, silver and this one is solid brass. Um, I may just clean them up and sell them as is, or I may print out some vintage uh, photos and put in them. Okay, we're almost done. I went to another estate sale this morning and it was the last day, so everything was 50 to 75% off. Everything that I got there, I paid $8.70 for, I think. And I got this mirror. Um, it looks like it hangs this way, but that could be changed. And it's got lots of detail that will look really good painted. It's plastic, but like I said, Mirrors always sell really well for me, painted and white wax, and this one is um, going to be really pretty when I finish it. And also, I got this one. It is also plastic, but it's in really good shape and is going to be gorgeous painted. Look at all the detail on that. And um, the glass is in good condition on both of them, just needs cleaned up. And I'll be able to sell them for, you know, $22, $24 a piece. Um, I got everything that I got this morning at that estate sale for, like I said, $8 and something. So I got those two mirrors. I got some copper um, napkin rings. I got two that look like this and two that look like this. Um, I just like to get them 
because they were cheap and they were copper and I thought I could put some of my stamp tea towels that I did in last week's video in them and that would be cute to sell them that way with the rings. And they also had a bunch of embroidery hoops and I was out, I don't have any. These are really sweet for making artwork to hang. So I got one, two, three, four embroidery hoops, these two mirrors, the napkin rings, and these two um, silver candlesticks. There's a few scratches on them, but I'm hoping that maybe I can buff them out. Uh, but they're really heavy and good silver candlesticks. So I picked them up. So I got um, all that stuff today and I thought that was a really good deal. The rest of this stuff is from the thrift store. And don't forget to look in the bags, especially at the Goodwill, because um, there's always uh, some stuff in the bags that can be very useful. This bag was $2.99, but it's got a really nice wood round and a really nice wood plaque that I can do anything with. Look at that. These wood rounds are perfect for making risers out of. So I've got a few more of them. And also along the same lines, I got this bag for $2.99. And it's got, let's see, two little sweet baskets that um, we know Easter's about over, but that would have been cute to put some eggs and some grass in. But also these little bitty, um, charger plate baskets there also would be good for making some little risers on candlesticks with so there's four of them and the two baskets and here's another bag i'm not going to open this one but this one had some copper um, measuring um, spoons in them and those would be cute for hanging on a sign or something for the kitchen got some other stuff in there but um, i picked them up definitely for those copper measuring spoons I got some little mini um, breadboards. I think I might have got these at Target. I did. I got these at the Target uh, $5 spot, and I got this one for um, $1.99 at the thrift store. It's got a little heart on it, but that's okay. I can paint over that. Those will be cute to do a little upcycle with. I picked these up because I've got tons of plants and pots and I'm always looking for the little things. And so here's a ton of them for $2.99 um, so I can put under my pots. I'll probably have to paint them to match them. Excuse me, under my pots. This was a really good buy today. Pink tags were half off and this is a Fifth Avenue Crystal candy jar. It's in perfect condition. So I paid um, $5.50 for it, and I'll probably be able to sell it for, you know, $16, maybe $20. So that's really nice. Um, I got this cute little wooden box for $3.99. It's definitely going to be a paint job, but I thought it was super cute for just putting jewelry in or little trinkets and sitting on top of a dresser. Um, I got this picture. I've already took the tag off of it. But I think I paid $3.99 for it. Um, it's got the flower on the one side, but I really like the shape of it and the shape of the handle. And if you do it this way, you don't even see the flower. It's just a white picture. So I will probably put that in my china cabinet with all my other white stuff. I'm not sure what those little lines are called. Maybe that's called crazing, but I think it's actually kind of pretty. So I was happy to find that. And lastly, um, this is not something I would normally pick up. It was $5.99, uh, but it's Williams and Sonoma cookie cutters. And it is full of cookie cutters, all kinds of cookie cutters, Christmas ones, but um, it was alphabet originally. So I, I'm sure that all 26 letters are not here, but I still thought, that was a pretty good buy. You can um, you know, link some cookies, cutters together and sell them as a lot. So I went ahead and got that. Plus this cute little um, box with it. So that is all of my thrift haul today. It turned out to be a pretty big one, but like I said, it was like three weeks worth of looking 
So hopefully I can make some money off this stuff. And I just want to say thank you all so much for watching. And I'll be back next week with some more upcycle videos. Have a good night.